My fellow Canadian is joining me. Yeah. So check that check that live stream because I've just been babbling. They've probably going get this lady off the live stream. Check the comments. <laughs> Hello. Hi, hi. Hi. So you just came off you just came off the stage. You gave your presentation. I was letting everybody know a little bit about kind of getting them warmed up for the idea of social shopping on Hive. You know, you have a sleeper project. Not as many people that should know about it, know about it. So now you got a bunch of people watching on the live stream. We're just hanging out. We're filling in extra information. This is a good time to explain what you're doing. The short condensed version of your presentation. Okay, the short version is that um, now any Hive user can launch uh, their own shop on Hive. And uh, it takes just a few minutes. Uh, if, in fact, if you go to Wavia, and uh, you check your profile. So not only do you have your standard posts, uh, followers, uh, wallet, but you also have uh, your shop. And if you want to add any items to that shop, you just go browse Wavio um, for the items that you're interested in. You just with single click, you can add them to your shop. And uh, if there are no such item uh, on Hive yet, yes. uh, we have a special Chrome extension. You just install it on your browser and uh, you go to, let's say, the page of that product on uh, Amazon. You simply uh, click Upload to Wavia and that will be uploaded to the blockchain and will be automatically included into your shop, into your profile. So this is really cool because for a lot of people, things like affiliate marketing or things like content reviews that are tied to affiliate sales, that is a huge, huge part of pretty much everybody's business these days. Every social media is people who are looking to either create content about products and get a sponsorship for it or who are affiliate marketing, drop shipping. Like this is a really important part of our entire economy. And now you've built it just natively to Hive and you've made it easy. So for a lot of people, I guess approaching getting started is difficult. In this case, you're saying, well, you can literally just curate a selection of items that you're interested in Absolutely. and add them to the shop. Absolutely. And uh, also, it's very easy to manage your affiliate codes yeah. because uh, for the most part, it can also be very daunting. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's say you added um, a product, but then you go and register with, let's say, Amazon or Walmart. Yes. You simply add their codes into your profile settings and all of your product links, all of your links to products from your posts and comments, they're automatically including your code. Fantastic. So you don't even think about it. And if at any moment you need to change the code, because I've mentioned like on the stage that sometimes Amazon likes to cancel old codes yeah. and uh, all of your previous links actually no longer can generate any revenue for you unless you go and change them manually. So in this case, uh, you just change it in one place and all of your history is changed, all of your new links are changed and all of that. And uh, this is the very easy, there is no cost involved in basically running your shop in your own profile. Uh, but if you want to elevate your shop yes. to the next level to make it look really nice, um, and uh, we referenced some of the examples that we're already running, which is like uh, camping.social.gifts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, another one would be like uh, coffee.social.gifts. Mm -hmm. So people can check out how these websites look. Yeah. And uh, launching such a website is actually just a one click. And, Wild. And uh, you just select the name essentially and just uh, press the button and your website is running but you can go uh, into a lot of details about customizing it but customizing like in a regular uh, websites is you actually doing the whole thing yes right uh, but here on hive all of your work is shared on a decentralized space and that means that if you've built a coffee shop yes i actually can go and take your work right yeah. In the <laughs> web 2.0, that is like an absolutely no. And the reason for that is because people are constantly competing and trying to create their own database of users. They're trying to create their own database of products. Yes, of course. But on web 3 and on Hive, basically what happens is that if you made a copy of my site, yes. which I spent a lot of time building, actually your future success helps me. Yeah. Because okay. basically you will bring more customers. I can enjoy it 
And uh, so we have more products, more reviews. Your success becomes my success. So it's actually interesting that one of your strategies for a successful uh, shop online is actually having more people making copy of it or at least portion of it. And this is such a web three way of thinking, but it's yes. true. I mean, you can absolutely have competition and cooperation in the same sort of space. And that's that's Hive in a nutshell. So this is really cool. I know we have another presenter who's going to be talking about uh, her shop, Clean Girl. Is she yes. utilizing your tech? That's correct. Yeah. And uh, she will provide the behind the scenes how it's actually done because uh, my presentation was mostly about like concept yes so how you put information about your product on the high blockchain how it can appear on all of the other websites uh, how um, uh, reviews are being published uh, with reference and all of that how all of these projects basically help grow together instead of each of them being like a small island fighting for you know, space under the sun. Totally, totally makes sense. So that's really cool. Um, in this case now, so can how does Hive and HBD kind of tie into everything? Do you have options with the native currencies when you're working in with uh, YVO? Absolutely. Uh, in fact, like all the wallets support not only Hive and HBD, they also support all Hive Engine tokens. Awesome. Uh, we also uh, simplify dramatically conversions. Like for example, if you have uh, uh, Hive, uh, you can actually withdraw it uh, to uh, like different uh, accepted, like maybe not all restaurants or not all coffee shops accept Hive, but you can easily pay with Hive to like Litecoin, Bitcoin or any uh, other currency. Uh, if you earned rewards, you can actually easily convert that too. You can easily deposit. So we actually employed a lot of Hive Engine tools yep. to make the process really smooth so that people don't need to go to multiple websites uh, to complete a simple transaction. In fact, we made it to such a level that if you have, um, let's say, Hive Engine talking, token, uh, and you need to pay a bill in the restaurant which accepts, let's say, Litecoin, yes. they give you the QR code, you scan it, it actually tells you how much of the Hive Engine uh, currency you need to send uh, to complete the transaction. It's so simple now. That's fantastic. I mean, I've had the gist of it, but the more that I hear about it, the more I'm kind of like, okay, we have to tell everybody. Because obviously, Hive is one of those places where people come and they talk about the things that interest them and they post about stuff that they just got that's cool. Like, there's sort of this intersection of interest and of course the drive to be entrepreneurial obviously um, and so this is such a great fit and it's something that you know I've had the the good fortune to have you out at our last event in Vegas but something we talk about a lot or at least that I'm I'm gonna be talking about on the main stage as well is starting to think a little bit differently about identity and especially about brand and and brand ambassadors and hive is full of whether we realize it or not hive is full of brand ambassadors and even if it's just people who are obsessed with hive and they become a natural hive brand ambassador everybody's posting about their lives they're posting about the coffee shops and the bookstores and the games they play and the places they visit day to day and the items that they're saving up to buy and when you start thinking about that and, and sort of the content that that generates it is literally people just sharing the things that they're passionate about naturally so where you come in and where this fit suddenly just clicks is that why isn't that becoming profitable for them and it's not only about profit but if you are already in love with a business or their products you're doing them a favor and why shouldn't that kind of be that circular economy you know um, it's an incredible idea and I think a lot of people on Hive would probably have a lot of fun thinking about okay well if I could build the crimson clad store what would be in it if I could build you know the neo store what would be in it so it's a, it's a fascinating idea so for people who want to get started, let's just say, because we got people watching on the live stream now, and they're like, heck yeah, I'm going to sell knitted tea cozies. We're doing it. That's what's happening. How do they get started, you know, with their getting their store up, or how do they, what's the way that you want to see them using your, your products? Well, for now, this because it's a new protocol, 
It's only available on Wavio.com. I go. hope that other front ends, such as PigD and others, will uh, start to adapt uh, the same. Yeah. Uh, we have open API, and the entire code for Wavio is open source. So awesome. anyone can uh, just basically integrate all of it. But the point right now, you just go to Wavio.com. You yep. log in. You go to your profile. Look how it uh, appears there. And then you can go to the shop uh, on Wavio, which yep. basically lists all the products that are currently published on the Hive block chain and uh, you can try and basically select uh, some of them with a heart and they will appear in your store that's how easy it is if you don't find the product that you want in your store you, uh, you basically either add the listing or just use the chrome extension mm -hmm. um, it uh, you can download it also you go to tools section and then you will see on the left side uh, on the desktop um, how to uh, where to download and some instructions how to install it and uh, it supports Walmart, it supports, uh, besides Amazon, supports Sephora, and uh, we'll add more stores uh, as needed. So cool, especially now as we move in um, to focusing on live content creators as well, because obviously we've got lots of bloggers, we've got lots of, like to is full of our, uh, the top model girls. I mean, uh, yeah, absolutely. Look at this makeup, show me exactly what you're using on your face. I want to buy it. These are absolutely. all things that just tie into niches that exist already on Hive. Fantastic, absolutely so, fantastic. So I believe it's an entirely new dimension for Hive. Yeah, uh, absolutely. We can start basically adding products, adding shopping. It's so seamless uh, you should give it a try because it's actually so simple and um, I believe this is great for onboarding of people because mm -hmm. like some of the well like you can convert your shop from the profile into a standalone website fantastic uh, with uh, also just one click you just uh, follow like in tools create a website select social gifts as your template uh, you add your name for the website and with a single click your profile shop becomes a separate website under the name that you've specified so cool. uh, your blog becomes the main news feed for that site and uh, then ah, so it's actually it takes your posts and it integrates them right into this new standalone correct. template yeah. Come and on. Uh, and if you want uh, more complicated news feeds, uh, there is just basically a way to create all the object. Right now, uh, because it's so new, uh, we're in the process of creating tutorials. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, some we do have some tutorials uh, <laughs> on uh, Wavia, but we will be publishing a lot more of them uh, in the upcoming uh, basically month. Uh, there are about like five or six tutorials are actually in works uh, as we speak. Excellent. So. It was the first time we presented social shopping. Yes. Uh, previously, we've been doing uh, focus on restaurant rebate, rebates. Yes. And uh, we kind of kept the technology relatively quiet because it was a very regional project. It was focused on Vancouver. There were actually 500 restaurants uh, offering rebates. Um, and we we're using this sophisticated technology on Hive. And then we decided, okay, it does. It, because it's so focused, maybe we can take it global yeah. with uh, um, shopping in general because you're no longer limited to a particular geography, right? Yeah, absolutely. It makes so much sense. And it's it's how essentially our internet has developed. I mean, it's how we communicate in general. I hate to say it. It's not that we all only talk about products, but it is, it's inherently something we do. When you find something you like, when you believe in something, you want to share it with other people. And, Absolutely. And at the same time, like, think about it, like, how sometimes we spend hours mm -hmm. on shopping sites trying to find the best Reviews, combination of products, yeah. right? And, okay, you did that, you're happy with this, you actually validated through your personal experience. Now, how do you share it? Yeah. Literally, how do you share it today? Yeah. So, okay, you can write a blog post, but in a short while, your blog post will be in the history. Mm -hmm. How do you recall it immediately? Yeah. So, if you're doing, let's say, a beauty okay or fashion so now you can uh, all these posts are not wasted they're all of the products that you reference in your post are automatically added to your shop Fantastic. so you go to the shop you see that item and you can see immediately all of your posts that actually been referencing that product so you're giving second life to all of your social content that you're creating yeah and it accumulates it builds and uh, it doesn't disappear into archives yeah that man that's crazy to think about and i know for a fact like there's lots of people who've been spending a lot of times am i going on stage soon oh look at that hey, i'm getting wow. i'm getting the uh the call i'm getting called off here to go on stage so are we trading out here come trade with me here come we're gonna trade okay bye guys i'll see you in a bit okay
uh, good luck on okay, the stage. Okay, I got a one. I got some comments here for you. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. You're not okay. finished yet. Sit, sit, just for a split second, and I will grab Voltec because it's another one. So John Snow said maybe we can implement some business model to the Hive Sucre project. We work with in real life stores accepting HBD as a mean of exchange. Absolutely. Uh, the fulfillment part um, needs to be, uh, we can think about the fulfillment part and I understand there are many solutions for that. Uh, the main part here is that we can actually work with a vast selection of products and uh, usually combining like a custom collection that you supply uh, and augment it with uh, a lot of other products sure. that can work with your product. Awesome. And uh, this uh, portion can come from major suppliers, including Amazon, including Walmart or any other stores. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah. There's tons of opportunities. Uh, also, another person says, that's very cool, so we can share our services and products. Absolutely, yes, exactly. Correct. Very nice, very nice that people start to see it as well. Uh, nice chat, quite interesting, nice chat. Okay, that's it. That's it for now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, you. for your time.